Hello, I'm Dr. Iatros and I'm on a mission to help doctors free themselves from the tyranny of their EMR. In our previous video, I showed you how to create a Wender Utah rating scale on Google Forms. Here's our scale. Today we're going to learn how to automatically rate this scale. As you know, only these items are rated in the scale and we know that there's a cutoff for 46 for a positive result. After you send the form to your patient and you receive responses, you can see an aggregate of responses here, but that's really not what we want. We want to see the score for each individual person. That's gonna be present in your spreadsheet within your Google Docs. When you open that spreadsheet, all you see is this tab with each answer in a different line. What we're going to do today, we're gonna to create another tab, I'll call, I'll call it scored, with only the scored items here. They reflect the items that we see in the original scale. And um, these are the values that each of the answers will have. And I'll show you how to create formulas so that you can automatically score your questionnaire. And for example, if we change the name of the patient here, we see that it automatically changes to the other patient and it scores their scale. So starting this from scratch, the first thing we're gonna do, pretending that this tab didn't exist over here, we're gonna click on Add Sheet and let's call it Scores. I'm gonna come here to A2 and start typing our headers for the table we're going to create. The reason why I put the name up there and not down here with the other headers is because I want room to type the patient's name so the table can look it up automatically. Now if I come here to my questionnaire, uh, the link is in the description, if I copy Control c these items, I can come here to my table and paste them. So that way I'm going to see all of the scores there. You'll notice because there was an extra header here, we have something we don't want here. So we don't want to delete this row. Okay, so now that we have a clear list here, now here's a slight issue because here in the form responses, question number one is on the fourth row. That means that question number three will be in the sixth row. So we're gonna have a formula work that out for us. But just to make things easier, I already calculated here what the columns are for each of the questions just to make things uh, a bit more streamlined and I'm gonna copy it here. To double check that these are the correct questions, I created a formula here in the question column so we can cross-reference it with the original form and make sure we didn't do anything wrong. And that's actually a very simple formula. So it's equal sign, then I go to this other tab and the third question is here on F. So I click on F1. I always press F4 if that's not something that I want to change automatically. So you're gonna see the dollar sign F, dollar sign one. It tells uh, the spreadsheet not to change the formula. So I press enter. And I can see that the question is, as a child I was or had concentration problems, was easily distracted. I come here and that does correspond with what the questionnaire really said. What I'm going to do is I want to copy this formula for every single row, but using these letters as the column. Just to save time with the magic of editing, here are all the formulas. So you can see up here that each of the formulas corresponds to this column reference here. Like I said, it's very important to cross-reference this with your original questionnaire just to make sure you got everything right. And everything checks out. To make it easier for me to look at this later, I'm gonna resize this column over here. Now what I want my spreadsheet to do is to be able to type my patient's name here, for example, Greg Lake, and to return the answer for each of these questions based on this number and whatever the person responded here. 
The formula I'm gonna use is called dget, but you can also use vlookup. So my data is in this tab, form responses one. That's the name that Google gave it from column A all the way to column BL. If you inserted other questions on your form, you need to make sure that all the formulas are adjusted so they look up the right information. So my formula for this cell will be equal sign dget. Then I need to reference my database, which is apostrophe form space responses space one close apostrophe exclamation mark dollar sign a colon dollar sign bl which is the end of the database the next component is what field i'm going to look up so comma the field for each um, column is the number of the column so for example for column f that's the sixth column for column G, seventh column, and so forth. But to do it in a formula so I don't have to type all of these, I'm gonna say that field is open parenthesis A3, because it's uh, question number three, plus three to give me the result corresponding to column F. Because I have three columns that don't correspond to a question on the form. There, you know, the timestamp, the patient's name, their date of birth. So the formula just corrects for that. Close parenthesis. Now for the criteria here, I want to look up whatever I typed here, but with dget, you always have to, to select two fields. So name and whatever I type. Name has to correspond to my form field over here, name. If I type anything different, for example, if I typed full name or patient name in one of them and in the other I only had name, uh, that wouldn't work. So this is my range, D1 to D2. But I want to fix it by pressing F4. You saw the dollar signs pop in there. Because whenever I pull the formula down, I don't want this to become D3, D4, and so forth. So you see that uh, an answer already appeared here. So let's see if it checks out. So for the first question, which is as a child I was or I had concentration problems, we should see moderately. So here, question three, one, two, three, we see there moderately. Now all we need to do is to pull this down all the way here and all of our answers will check out. Then double click here just to expand the column. Now how do we turn this into numbers so we can actually score our test? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another table here where I have a description and a value. Now it's very crucial that whatever we type here in the description matches each of these columns here in our form. If not, Excel will not be able to look up those values. So here I made sure I typed exactly what uh, those descriptions are and their respective values. Now the next step is to convert each of these answers here into a number based on this table. For that we're going to use a new formula, ifs. Ifs allows you to have multiple conditions and return values. If you use uh, older versions of Excel, for example, that formula doesn't exist. So you're gonna have to use if and or. So I type equal sign ifs, open parenthesis, this cell equals this value, but I need to fix it by pressing F4, then return this value and fix it by pressing F4. Now I want a new condition. I type comma, and again, if this cell equals the next cell down, uh, A32, fix it, then return B32 and fix it. And I will, I'll repeat it for every one of these. Notice that D3 is not fixed because I want to be able to pull that formula down and let the spreadsheet update it uh, automatically. D3 equals sign this, fix it, return this. 
comma d3 equals sign this fix it return this fix it I forgot to fix that one over there there you go then if this equal sign this fix it return this fix it so let's double check all of the d3s are not fixed and all of the other cell references are fixed that's very crucial and then finally close parenthesis enter now we see that our formula checks out moderately becomes value number two which is what we see in our uh, scale now all we need to do is to pull this formula down and we see that every value corresponds exactly to what we want the last step is the simplest of them all I'll type here total and all I need to do now is to write a sum of these values so equal sum parenthesis and the range e3 to e27 close parenthesis and I have the score so let's see what happens if I type another patient's name here there there's his score there updated and let's see the last patient there's his score if you want to get really fancy you can add a conditional formatting here that anything above 46 is highlighted for that we're gonna right click on that cell scroll down to conditional formatting if cells is greater than or equal to 46 painted green so that checks out let's go back to Greg Lake and you see he didn't make the cut so that's it now whenever you send this form over to your patients each result will appear over here and all you have to do is to type their name in your field over here and you're gonna see their result and if you want to copy this to your chart you can select this table and just paste so thank you so much for watching this concludes how to create an automated wonder utah scale that your patients can fill out on the web